Hey guys, Pete here. And as you can see, we've landed in the beautiful Joshua Tree National Park, which is our first stop on our two week American road trip, taking in some of the most stunning national parks in the Southwest. We've got our Vancraft Mercedes Sprinter, which is fully kitted out and ready to go. And we're gonna take you guys with us as we explore, hike, and everything else on this two week adventure around the Southwest of America. Okay, so it's our last morning in Joshua Tree. Uh, final sunrise. Luckily we had a camp spot right next to where we wanted to shoot sunrise this morning, so only a 6 a.m. alarm. Um, as you can see, another beautiful clear day. Just like that, we're all packed up and ready to leave Joshua Tree. Onto the Grand Canyon. Let's go. Can you guess where we are? It is 6 a.m. and we are heading to the Grand Canyon. This is my first time seeing the Grand Canyon. I'm very excited. Wow. Wow. Where? Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you so much, dude. You're welcome. Take care. Guys, in Grand Canyon, we opted to visit Pima Point because this is one of the, the few places on the North Room you can actually see the Colorado River cutting through the valley, uh, which made the, the landscape photos sort of gave it a bit more foreground interest. Um, yeah, we were tripped to another great sunrise here with absolutely no one else about. Uh, as per usual, I didn't really do any vlogging, so I thought I'd leave you with uh, some of my favourite photos from day and a half stay at the Grand Canyon. I really like the layers that you get when the sun rises uh, into the canyon and also if you get there early enough you get this really nice alpine glow as well which just sort of complements the, the red rock in the canyon. And yeah we had a, an absolute blast in the Grand Canyon. Um, shame we didn't get more time there but it was time to move on to our next destination which is Monument Valley. Now this is where one of the big advantages of hiring with Vancraft comes into play is that you get these off-road tyres on the van and a slightly higher clearance than, than normal which means you, you are able to go down roads like this that you definitely wouldn't be able to go down with a, a normal van hire company. So it's definitely something to take into consideration when you're looking at hiring for a trip like this. <laughs> made it to Double Arch in Arches National Park. Kind of hard to show the scale of it, but it's incredible. We arrived really late last night, I think it was like about 11 after a pretty long drive, so I went straight to bed. Um, had the coldest night we've had in the van, it's about minus five Celsius, um, which is a bit chilly. So this morning it was hard to get out of bed, but we made it, and yeah, we've got the next two days, I think, exploring Arches National Park. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to it. This is our first morning. We're gonna wait for the sun to hopefully, it's rising over there, sort of like catch underneath the arch, and then head up to, I think it's over there, the windows over there. Uh, but yeah, super excited to get going.
yeah, and then it was time to head to, to our camp spot for the night, which ended up being the best camp spot we had on the whole trip. We had this pitch that overlooked most of the park uh, with sort of this like really nice mountain backdrop. And this meant we got a chance to use uh, one of the cool features in this van, which was the roof tent. And just check out this for a setup for the evening. We had our uni pizza oven with us, so we just sat, cooked, and enjoyed pizza with a view. And then, uh, as per usual, I uh, got to video for the last day of the park where we visited the Delicate Arch and a few other places. So here are a couple more of my favorite photos from Arches National Park. Unfortunately, we only had a couple of days here before it was time to head on to a place that I've been wanting to visit for years and years, which was Zion National Park. We have arrived in Zion. Yeah, we had, our, well, we broke up our drive yesterday with a little canyon hike, which ended up taking a lot longer than we thought. Um, so ended up camping on some BLM land outside the park last night, and now we've just headed in. But yeah, got up for sunrise this morning, and look, it's our second cloudy day of the trip. <laughs> but the temperature's still really nice, and we've got a good like six, seven hours now to, oh, there's a car. We've got a good six, seven hours now to, explore the canyon, um, maybe go for a little drive and hopefully get out on a little hike as well. But yeah, just arrived at, I think it's called the Watchman, which is like the classic road shot. So even though it's a bit cloudy, we're gonna go get that. And then yeah, hopefully get out for a little hike. But it's soaked, stoked, stoked, can't talk. Stoked to spend the next few days in Zion. This looks spooky. Okay, so, come say hey. Alec, what are we doing? Heading up Angels Landing. Heading up Angels Landing for sunrise. Let's That's go. the plan. Um, we can't really see much above us at the moment. We think it might be a bit cloudy up there, but it's our only chance to do it. So, yeah, angels clouding, pitch black. Angels clouding. Angels clouding. <laughs> God, I'm, this is how tired we are. Angels landing in the pitch black. It's meant to be, what, the scariest hike in America or something like this, so. Let's see how we go. Tell people what you thought of Zion. Hey, Zion was great. Yeah, it was, it was. I don't know how to describe Zion. What would be? What's the favorite thing you've done on this trip? Favorite thing I've done on this trip is it's, it's going to be tough really. to beat Sunset in Monument Valley. That was class. That was very good. That was very good. That's probably the best sunset we've had, isn't it? Yeah. Other than that, it's actually too. There's been too many good things. Yeah. Even some of the camp setups we've had yeah. have been very nice. Like, 
Archers National Park, we had a great time. In conclusion, do a road trip around the southwest. Do a road trip in the States. Do a road trip in the States. I'll be back. <laughs>